Hello, I'm Emma Watson. We have an urgent mission to complete by 2030, and I really need your help. We need to fight global inequality, end extreme poverty, and respect our planet. Watch this film to find out how you can use your creativity and power to help us achieve these goals. Thank you. Hello? Hello? Are you there? I was just saying that we have to use our creative superpowers to achieve the United Nations global goals. How? Although the Earth is just a tiny speck in space, it seems enormous to us when we're on it. The global goals can seem huge too. But if you focus on fixing the things where you live, you can make a big difference. There are three ways you can help. You can invent, innovate, and campaign. So buckle up, and let's take a lightning flight around the world to see what young people are doing already. First stop is Istanbul in Turkey, where we meet Elif. She's an inventor. Like many big cities, there's a lot of pollution in Istanbul. Most of it's caused by petroleum-based plastics. Elif wasn't happy about that and wondered what she could do. So she invented a new natural plastic made from banana skins. No, oh, seriously. It's cheap, easy to recycle, and you can make it in your own kitchen. And if you like banana desserts, you can't really lose. Unless you eat too much. So, let's talk about toilets. This is Rahit. He lives in Bangalore in India. The population there is growing very quickly, and so is all the, well, waste. A regular toilet uses six litres of water each time it's flushed. This is too much where water's scarce. So Rahit invented a toilet that saves 50% of that water. He called it the vacuum flush. His invention won an international science prize, and now he's flushed with his own success. As it were. You can be an innovator, be creative, and think about how to improve the way we live. Take urban creators in North Philadelphia. This amazing group of teenagers reclaimed derelict land in a dangerous, run-down neighborhood. They built a thriving farm where they grow fresh food and now supply hundreds of local homes and restaurants. Life Do Grow Farm has transformed the community and made it healthier and safer for everyone. Now, let's go to Nigeria, which has one of the fastest growing populations in the world. This is Team Cheris, a group of brilliant girls who are solving a big problem. Team Charis realised that in parts of Nigeria, lots of people get sick because rubbish isn't cleaned up properly. So they created Discardius, a phone app to report waste and have it taken away safely by eco-friendly cars. See? Sometimes a healthier world is just one great idea away. You could be a campaigner. Malati and Isabel are sisters from Bali. They've been on a mission to stop plastic bags from harming their beautiful island home. Millions of plastic bags end up in the ocean. They pollute the water and harm marine life. Malati and Isabel decided enough was enough. They organised petitions and beach cleanups, and now their efforts have convinced their governor to ban plastic bags in Bali by 2018. Finally, let's go to Jordan. This is Mazoom from Syria. She used to live in a refugee camp. Many girls in the camp had to marry so young that they had to give up their education. Mazoom thought this was a big mistake, and she waged a campaign to convince parents to keep their daughters in school and not make them marry too young. All girls have a right to a great education. And just look at what one educated girl can achieve with enough determination. Young inventors, innovators and campaigners everywhere are changing the world for good. And so can you. You just need to care, get creative and collaborate. If we all do that, by 2030 we can really make the global goals a reality. I'm just saying. <laughs>